When a titanosaur's armor started growing in, there were a few different ways that it could go about building those skin bones. The usual situation is called metaplasy, where cells in the animal's skin just started making bones now. We can tell because the osteoderms still have the fibers that were once the collagen in the skin. They still have that structure even though they're bone now. Now that is the structure that we find in those small, tightly packed ossicles, as well as in the outer portion of the larger rondels. But the sides, bottom, and inside of those rondels is different. These parts seem to grow the way the skeleton does, with a core of spongy bone acting as a nutrient highway for blood vessels to carry everything that was needed to remodel or expand the surface of the osteoderm. The researchers looking at this histology think that it might just be that growing and maintaining the larger osteoderms just required far more resources than the existing little vascular canals could carry. They needed that spongy highway. But I wonder if there might be more going on there, because other saltosauroids show even more extreme remodeling of the base of their large osteoderms. We literally need to go deeper. Most of our viewership is younger than that movie.